Ladies and gentlemen, may we please take our seats. Thank you. Welcome to the inauguration ceremony of the Vice Chancellor and Principal of the Tswane University of Technology. The academic procession is about to enter the hall and I wish to share the following with you. Our event this evening has two sections. One is official, followed by the gala dinner. Please ensure that all cell phones are switched off for the duration of the formal proceeding. Please comply when you are requested to stand and to be seated again. Please rise as the academic procession is about to enter the hall. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm uh, Dr. Gwen Ramukhopa, and by virtue of the powers vested in me as Chancellor, I hereby declare this gathering to be a lawful congregation of the Tswani University of Technology. I would like to invite you to share a moment of uh, silent devotion Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Chancellor Dr. Gwen Ramokhopa. May we please have the T2 choir up on stage for a performance. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you can be seated in the interim. Thank you very much.
aina elaba uphinde ngubo yazigudo ai ana expecta kuri itatwa mikulungwana mikulungwana ariye riye ariya that was the TUT choir, ladies and gentlemen. Once more, a round of applause. <laughs> I'd like to call back again Dr. Gwen Ramokhopa, our chancellor, for the word of welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Program Director, for this uh, opportunity to welcome uh, the guests today. May I take this opportunity to acknowledge the presence of uh, Mr. Tilson Magnoni, the Chairman of uh, the University Council of uh, TUT, and all members of Council here present, uh, Professor Tinyuko Maluleka, the celebrant today, uh, Vice Chancellor and Principal uh, of uh, TUT and uh, the Executive Management Committee and Senate, uh, Dr. Avushoni Michael Mushatoni, the Registrar, uh, other members of uh, the academic and support staff, as well as members of uh, the most important constituency without whom we wouldn't be here, members of the Student Representative Council. And may I also take this opportunity to boast that uh, we do have uh, a woman at the helm of the SRC. I want to take this opportunity as well to welcome uh, the Deputy Minister of Finance. Uh, I haven't uh, seen him, but we're informed that he, he will be here. Dr. David Masondo, Mr. Tito Mboweni, the former governor of Reserve Bank and former minister of finance, Her Majesty Queen Mother Manyaku Tulare, Queen of Barbadi Kingdom. That's why you've had um, ululations. Um, these are the pure ones, not the township ones. Uh, Chief Minga, Chief uh, Naniki, Chief uh, Njaka Njaka, Dr. Mashia, Sotikwa, a DDG representing the Ministry of uh, Higher Education, Professor Ahmed Bawa, the Chief Executive of the University of South Africa, Ms. Tsakani Maluleka, the Auditor General of South Africa, Mr. Senga Maluleka, the Statistician General of South Africa, I am not commenting about relations. <laughs> Dr. Ruel Koza, Chancellor of the University of KwaZulu-Natal. Dr. Precious Muloi Mutsipe, Chancellor of the University of Cape Town, and someone who's really passionate about uh, chancellors not just being ceremonial uh, during uh, the graduations, but also adding great value uh, to higher education institutions. Um, Professor Togoma Ekiso, Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of Mpomalanga, Professor Peter Mbati, Vice Chancellor and Principal of Sifako Makato University, Professor Kristen Shapo, Vice Chancellor and Principal of uh, Cape Peninsula University of Technology, Professor Puleng Lenkabula, Vice Chancellor and Principal of uh, UNISA, Prof. Lutokwa Mbedi, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic University of Johannesburg, Prof. Samson Mashele, Acting Deputy Vice Chancellor, Central University of Technology, Prof. Stuart Motata, Registrar of the University of South Africa, Dr. Murungwa Makwarela, the Speaker of um, the City Council of Tswani, uh, the Tswani University business partners and donors that are here with us today, 
the family of members of uh, Professor Tinyuko Maluleke, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm singularly privileged to welcome you uh, to this uh, inauguration ceremony of the Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of uh, Tswani, of the Tswani University of Technology. Indeed, Prof. Maluleka hit the ground running. He did not wait uh, for the inauguration ceremony. He has been working, and I've had a privilege of also officiating at some of the graduations with him. It is important, as we welcome you to this uh, function, to really appreciate the challenge that uh, is faced uh, by university, not only on our shores in, in, in South Africa, in Africa, but globally. At the recent World Economic Forum, um, four trends were identified that um, uh, characterized uh, the higher education um, sector. Especially considering that this is a post-COVID-19 era where COVID indeed uh, redefined the future as we had anticipated it. These trends are firstly uh, learning from everywhere. Um, uh, this is uh, actually different from uh, learning from uh, anywhere. Um, it actually provides a framework for flexibility. And uh, I must say that uh, during the past two years um, of COVID pandemic, uh, the TUT students and uh, community and uh, academia were able to switch over to the challenges of the need for agility and resilience from face-to-face -face teaching and learning to various modes of online teaching and learning. So TUT is poised uh, in this area of uh, learning from everywhere to even build on what uh, has been the experience in the past two years. The World Economic Forum uh, uh, identifies the second trend, uh, the, the trend of replacing lecture, lectures with active learning. And indeed, the students of um, Tswani University of Technology are exposed to not only academic support, but uh, a support uh, from various angles, including a very vibrant um, arts uh, and sports uh, program that uh, they, they also are known for um, amongst their competitors. Thirdly, teaching skills that remain relevant in a changing world. And indeed, uh, you will hear uh, with the day, as the, as the night goes by, that uh, Tswani University of Technology has uh, positioned itself uh, as a university of the future, including recently establishing the Institute of the World, or, or the Institute of the Future of Work. The fourth, last but least, uh, is uh, that of uh, using formative assessment instead of high-stake exams. Uh, perhaps TUT has not as yet uh, got to this stage where you can assess a learner, not only from exams, but perhaps, uh, as I am not full-time with the, with the institution, uh, that also has started. So ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, let me take this opportunity once more to thank you for putting aside the precious evening that you could have used for other um, engagements to come here and share this moment with the Tswani University of Technology uh, in uh, uh, the inauguration of um, the Vice Chancellor and Principal. I hope that you will find this uh, evening inspiring and indeed uh, worthy of uh, appreciating that this institution is indeed a hidden secret, is a gem uh, that needs to be unleashed and that uh, Professor Maluleka is the right person to continue shining this gem and unleashing the potential of this institution as uh, 
it contributes uh, to the future that we would like to see in our country, in our continent, and in the world. I thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Gwen Ramukhopa. That's our chancellor. Indeed, we are a university that makes knowledge work, producing graduates, future-ready graduates. I must emphasize our VC wants us to say that all the time we produce future-ready graduates. And without wasting any time, I'd like to call Dr. Lipire from the Department of Performing Arts Faculty of Arts and Design to introduce our Vice Chancellor and Principal. Dr. Libere, over to you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Gilrifilwe Libere, and I am from the Department of Performing Arts at the Arts and Faculty of Arts and Design. So I have the great privilege of having to read a wonderful commendation for Prof. Diniko Malulek. Born in Midlands, bred in Soweto, formed by two rural villages near Louis Trichard, and further raised in Kuankua Township, just outside of Zanin, Prof. Diniko Maluleka is the fifth Vice Chancellor and Principal of the Tuani University of Technology. He took office on the 1st of February, 2022. While doing his regular high school holiday peace jobs at, the, at number 216 Bree Street in Johannesburg, where his father was employed as a general laborer, the young Maluleke secretly resolved that when he grows up, he would become a medical doctor. He already knew then that the key to the job of his dreams was education. After dispensing with his primary and high school education with flying colors, Maluleka approached the tertiary phase of his education with the same ferocity. He obtained his master's degree in Holland, Michigan, USA, and went on to complete his doctorate in theology at the University of South Africa, UNISA. While Prof. Maluleke was registered for his doctorate, the late and world-renowned scholar, Professor David Bosch from UNISA, who received the posthumous national order, contracted the young Maluleke as a research assistant. A year later, he was employed as a junior lecturer, and the rest, as they say, is history. Just over a decade later, Prof. Diniko Maluleke became a NRF B3 rated researcher, owing to the excellence, quality, and the impact of his research. Currently, he's an NRF B1 rated researcher. Prof. Maluleke is one of the two highest rated researchers at TUT. He continues to be a highly respected and hugely influential scholar in his field, nationally, continentally, and globally. Over the years, Professor Maluleka has supervised 15 PhD students to completion. Prof. Maluleka has been a visiting professor and a research fellow at universities such as the Hamburg University in Germany, the University of Vienna in Austria, the University of Nairobi in Kenya, Calvin University in the USA, University of Hilensky in Finland, the University of Lusuana in Switzerland, the University of Lut in Sweden, and the University of Johannes Gutenberg in Germany, amongst others. In addition to being a member of all the key academic association in his field, Prof. Maluleka is duly an elected member of the South African Academy of Science of South Africa. In 2020, the highly respected respected circle for concerned African women theologians conferred an award on Prof. Maluleka in recognition of his first-rate scholarship. With, an early, with nearly two decades of executive management experience, Prof. Maluleka has served as Deputy Executive Dean, Dean, 
Executive Director in Research, Deputy Registrar at, the Uni at UNISA. He has also served as Deputy Vice Chancellor International Wow Internationalization. Yes, Student Affairs and advancement at the University of Johannesburg. So let me say that again. He has served as Deputy Vice Chancellor of Internationalization, Student Affairs and Advancement at the University of Johannesburg. More recently, he has served as advisor to the Vice Chancellor and Principal at the University of Pretoria. Part of what sets Prof Maluleka apart is the high esteem in which he is held by peers in his discipline. He is borne out by his high NRF rating and his equally high H index on Google Scholar. Professor Malulega also commands the respect of his peers in academia in general across disciplines, disciplinary boundaries. In order to advocate for science and society and to disseminate his scholarly knowledge to the general public, Prof. Malulek has published several dozens of opinion pieces on various issues of national, continental, and global significance in mainstream media platforms such as News24, Mail and Guardian, Sunday Independent, The Sunday World, as well as various television and radio platforms. The face, the views, and the voice of Prof. Maluleka are well known to millions of South Africans. Many ordinary South Africans also respect Professor Maluleka for his scholarship and thought leadership as well as a public intellectual. Prof. Maluleka has served multiple times on the panel of judges for the Sunday Times Alan Payton Book Prize for Nonfiction as well as a similar book prize for the National Institute of Humanities and Social Sciences. He has also served as a judge for the MTN Radio Awards, a former member of the NRF and Kulumani boards. Prof. Maruleka is currently a member of the MTN SA Foundation Board. But perhaps the most nothing signals the esteem in which the new vice chancellor and principal of TUT holds than when President Cyril Ramaphosa appointed Prof. Maluleka as the current deputy chair of the National Planning Commission. When Prof. Maluleka was appointed as vice chancellor and principal of Tswani of University of Technology, he was widely reported in the media, having said, I am both humbled and thrilled to be taking on this important role at a crucial point in the history of the university and our country. The 18-year-old Tswani University of Technology is well positioned to become one of the top universities of technology in Africa and in the world. Until now, it has been managed exceptionally well, and TUT has been growing in its academic stature over the years. Under my leadership, TUT will become known for its excellent incubation of future-ready graduates, its impactful research, and its problem-solving innovation, as well as its thought leadership on the question of the future of work. Like a duck taking to water, Prof. Maluleka has assumed his role as Vice Chancellor and Principal of Tony University of Technology with tremendous energy and purpose. At every instant, at the slightest provocation and without fail, Prof. Maluleka takes each available opportunity to remind staff and students that the morale and the strategic purpose of TUT is, to, is not to produce knowledge for knowledge's sake but to produce knowledge that works and future ready graduates who will quickly find jobs in the market if needs be invent work for themselves. To relax, Prof. Maluleka either writes opinion pieces on important social, political and economic issues or plays his acoustic guitar. Prof. Maluleka speaks almost all the official languages of South Africa as well as French, Sipitori and Tsotsita. Welcome. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. 
and Tsotsi Tal. Did you hear that? Uh, before we proceed with the, the program, I'd like to say thank you, Dr. Lipere. Hope I'm saying it correctly. And for that beautiful introduction of our Vice Chancellor and Principal, Prof. Diniko Maluleke. But before we proceed with the program, I'd like once again to ask you to rise up as we welcome uh, Her Majesty Queen Manyaku Tularo to her seat. May we please. Kulama <laughs> Reteja chichila manyam ke mali ra lisna go mosepelo mashile ke na mane ra eteja mashile ke na mana moshitwana o tshetse ka le gorane le tjebo o tshetse ka la borala ga masemola ke mogatja go gola ka esisin sa motebele ke mogatja ngwana na mopo ke mapsikulusha matswaka le mabuki theleli ya maruta ba re theleli ka borao tjo sinyana ke masinyeleje ya matuba ke masinya magali ya batho Barchukutwana 
go tsotsa ro pega go tsha ba marumo ba re bokanela ya ba khatla ke noka na manye hore ke nna ke mo ritela noka ke ritetse ke ritletse maburu ga jo bere ke sa tlo ritela la ba ga mapanta ba re ke monoka ka mkhaditse ka ke mo raka ke ngana la masinya mahlong ke matsoga ka di tshau mushiane hore ke nna thula ra maketla ketla ke matsoga ka di tshau mushiane re go tsoga tsa tsapela ke sturisha mangane ba re go tsho ba shoke mapurupurung se pitla mangana ma matomela khalela mo lebatse ba re pitlile mpa tsa mogolong kwana a ba go bela nyala tsa mapule ana tsweta hore ke le mekwane ke tsho bo agara ntjua the shiba shiba tlo ga di tlogela di a go tlogela o se re go bona dikwata wa re tama khoshi ke ngwana khoshi o bo se ale kukuta se ale o tlile tlo ja ba di tsana ba koma tlo ja bo tshouye le bontswe nga re ke bo morwa keteng ga e tloisha e fa o morwa mo tshupa ka le le mokhoshi ga purwa ma ja di tala thoba di ngomela la thomo kwa mo di shike se thati ke mo tshoko tsha ma rota ma shilo re ke tshoko tsha di ala tsaka ba shimane ba itlisha ka di ngo petubatse ba ngwa ka di khageng khoshi re a le boga se ba ta go tla bo ga di a phatla ba o re a mogela mme wa rena ke a le boga Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's her Majesty Queen Manyaku Tulare. Uh, and now I'd like to invite once again, it's a busy night for you, Dr. Ramokhupa, who will be assisted by our register, Dr. Mushatoni, for the University of the Vice Chancellor and Principal of the Swane University of Technology. And I now invite Prof. Maluleke to join us on stage.
Honourable honoured guests, um, the chairperson of council, the council of uh, TUT, the community of TUT, our honoured guest, uh, the family, allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to present to you the inaugurated vice chancellor, principal, and chief executive officer of the Tswani University of Technology, Professor Dinyuko Sem Maluleka, who has been appointed as uh, uh, such according to the provisions of the statutes of the Tswani University of Technology. It is my singular honor to declare that Professor Dinyuko Sem Maluleka has now been so inaugurated as the Vice Chancellor and Principal of Tuan University of Technology, and that he is vested with authority, rights, and the privileges associated with the position that he so deserves. Let's applaud him. Congratulations, Prof. Thank you very much to our Chancellor. I now invite uh, Mr. Maluleke, the Statistician General of South Africa, to introduce Prof. Diniko Maluleke, the African way. The African way. Ikombela Mikulungwana. Ikombela Mikulungwana. Lava Bangaleka, Ya Agiani, Bulaka Malamulela. Coming, Gaba Sweet, I come back to Kulungwan. Program director, I'm not a very good public speaker, so if I stammer, please finish for me. Uh, let me take this opportunity, Chancellor, uh, to take note of all protocols. I know that you have uh, raised a, lot, a long list of uh, uh, distinguished guests that we need to acknowledge here today. So if I were to go on that, I would not perform my task. Uh, to perform my task, I will deviate a bit from the tradition that you are used because I will invite uh, the professor to be here with me as the Maluleke had have, uh, directed me. So I'm going to steal him from yourselves. You will have him all the time. This time I have to introduce him uh, the African way. So I'm going to steal him a bit. I have uh, listened to trepidations of uh, exchanges of Maluleke and Maluleka already uh, tonight. Let me put it uh, on record that it is Maluleke with an E at the end. <laughs> the Maluleke are led by Hosi Hutuan, who will be the tallest amongst us today. You will note him is there. Uh, they are accompanied uh, by other traditional leaders, as in Hosi Minga, Hosin Klaniki, and indeed Hosin Wamintua and Hosin Jakanjaka. Uh, for purposes of making sure that this goes ahead accordingly, uh, the Queen of Devapedi has uh, accompanied the delegation and made sure that she leads the delegation from Limpopo. You will excuse me for not uh, uh, reading out the charge of the Light Brigade today or Dimeskite Yah, or May Opa, because I've been delegated by the Maluleke to come and present him, as we know since Roman times, that those who the ancestors turn their back on, they first declare mad. And in Chinese tradition, only those who have a mandate from their family can rule. And when they fail or when they disappoint, 
They don't only disappoint the nation, the, 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 their family, they disappoint the nation. So as I present him to you from the Malulega side, it's because he's not supposed to, 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 to disappoint. So I'm not going to speak in English all the time, but I'm going to recall, for those who don't understand, the names of all the, fo the fallen heroes of the Malulege, starting from the section where he comes from, indicating that I hear you call him Sam Malulege. Sam is an Anglicanized way of his name. His name is Sam, which he actually inherited from one of our fallen great great uh, from, uh, from one of our fallen uncles, Loi Sam, Wangwanawa Obed. Obet loi anga mafoshos ari sem atetan ari ngwana wa obet wa munene munene wa hutlwane hutlwane loi ari hutlwane wa wa shtata shtata loi wa ari wa mchomi mchomi ari wa dlamani dlamani wa mashakadzi Ntanta vikela ngwena nkwenu, ni vikela wena sunduza unga etlela, ni vikela wena chava nunga etlela wanthaniki, unga rival macheme, unga rival na wena sunduza loko mfamba shi ingwe, mia mia tibisa zikiele na mashau, loko mirangisa na mfamba na sweso, mia mia tibisa na shilungwa, loa nga etlela, hai shilungwa loo famba emlengwa na muntla. Mifamsa na nkwen mia bjela na mkachani, wanthaniki, angar loo famba emlengi kam loa nga etlela. I Steven, he sukale, he rang sana and queen, he a lega patsamirli, loga, he a lega patsamirli, he fika e jelana, he a jela patsamir, jela zanda, jela masungi, jela ma imisi, jela ma gui, wama shaka, jwama leng, he rolana and queen, he rolana and queen, and garevali mpondo, nanyaban, ye nama jeje yes, he rolana and queen, he found by activist a rai nose, he glo gong rival, but akskwembus he rebel. Nchelo na yana munga unrival, misawa ya duma duma waka ino, waka wachele mshoti ya nda munga fundi anketa nvarle la bangura karfiga si ala sambuzi. Iri bangwa na tiba kama ila furma chanya re kam yampo fukateleka kaka nda tomi liglokta afete mista kona tsefe gipsi alala. Kabatara matala tala kagia gia tu tu mawali sarman tumbarim fano kula ikon logo bangwa na tiba kwa Bagu jana usenda ya kutuma mungu. Mungu wana na wana lo wanti mawo rula. Atukela pakati jaka watla. Waku onja ni wawabala. Ayanone la pakati jansimba ya lintaveni. Wanti iso lo omaka. Janta chara mwa shemu. Inka ichana wai kumula wai kumula aka msimeki. Iyena shikumba shula bachu uke. Masamba inyu kudlesha ngatita himatrelu aye. Nuko tayi yaka laka langka langka laka tayam songa yuku kaka raka kaka raka si yigajash papa shafole singa siwa hiba chopi aspilongo shaka mo langen zawa sha. Ya vita na ye na nzu ko hawa na nzu ko otsu ka kumbin raindu. Bagu fumarsha tu kama rige, bagu tan, bagu tan, bagu lese anga tamale, ikama baka baka nika mafukula makula wangen ba changu nshunguna wanshongel, bagu ngena mwanat, irwa mwanat ba kuwa, irwa mwanat ba kama ilafur, irwa mwanat ba kuwa kuwa kunau na iku chewu chewu, iye nangua ziloi, aringua zatetan, anga rumi sangi. In Kuzai Pupa Magual, in Kuzile Ungen and Jang, we fika a half la, half la, woman sena, Kusalava Kegunava Kalajo, Bamkunguan, Babana Maquela, Vaku Vajeli, Vajeli Tiniko, Vajeli, Vajeli Tiniko. Round of applause for Mr. Risenga Maluleke. That was beautiful. So I in Asu Sasekile. Asu Sasekang. Sasekile. I can't. I can't. You may now be seated.
Thank you. We are truly blessed this evening here at the Tswane University of Technology. I'd like to now request our Vice Chancellor and Principal, Prof. Tinyiko Maluleke, to deliver his acceptance speech. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening and thank you very much, Papama. Chancellor of the University of the, the Tuani University of Technology, Dr. Gwen Malihuale Ramohupa Mwanawa Me Maka Toli Huale Linta Tema Tume Ramohupa Nkwe. Chairperson of TUT Council. Mr. Mpati Tilson Magnoni, TUT Ambassador par Excellence, Mlochwa Mafuyanduna Pangindao. TUT members of the executive, DVCs, senior directors, executive directors, and special advisors. Executive deans, campus rectors, academics and professional staff, President General of the Institutional Student Representative Council, Ms. Nokwanda Kumalo, and all the student leaders who are present here today. Representatives of Nehau at TUT, representatives of Ndeu at TUT, TUT business partners and donors who are present here today. Former Minister of Finance, Mr. Tito Mboweni, Deputy Minister of Finance, Dr. David Masondo, former Minister of uh, Science, um, Dr. Why do I forget your name now, Dr. Mangena? who is also in our midst, De Dr. Masia Sotriwa, acting DDG, University Education at the Department of Higher Education, Ms. Zakani Maluleke, Auditor General, South Africa, Mr. Risenga Maluleke, Statistician General, who has just left the stage, Dr. Ruel Koza, Chancellor of the University of KwaZulu-Natal, Professor David Musoma, former DVC at UNISA, Professor Itumeleng Musala, former Vice Chancellor of one of the constituent institutions that formed TUT, Prof. Mushen Kondo, Member of Council at UNISA, Dr. Precious Muloi Mutsipe, Chancellor of the University of Cape Town, Professor Puleng Linkabula, Vice Chancellor and Principal, University of South Africa, Professor Christopher Ntapo, Vice Chancellor and Principal, Cape Peninsula University of Technology, Professor Peter Mbati, Vice Chancellor and Principal, Sifako Makato University. Prof. Litokwampedi, Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic, UJ. Prof. Samson Mashele, Acting DVC, Central University of Technology. Prof. Stuart Mutata, Registrar, University of South Africa. Shoma Josi, also known as Maya Wegerif. Is she here? <laughs> Dr. Vusima Tasela, Dr. Thomas Chauke, and Dr. Nkuna. Her Majesty Queen Mother Manyaku Tulare, Queen of the Bapedi Kingdom, Tlapukhadi Yapahe, Kibabina Nuku, 
Your presence among us crowns TUT with untold glory. Osi njaka njaka wam nar wa John wa shtango ma wam gungu wa chaban wa njaka njaka. The People's University welcomes you with open arms. Osi ngwa mintwa wa mbiri wa fofoza wa matebe zulu wa ma wa wa ngwa mintwa the university which produces knowledge that works salutes you. O Sintaniki, Wabuntsebu, the university whose graduates will shape the future of work, is elated that you have been able to join us today. O Sishilungwa Minga, Wasunduza, Watsubula Wankabi. We, as the university whose moral purpose is to empower people, feel both empowered and inspired by your presence in our midst today. Last but not least, allow me to observe the presence of the real and the ultimate Deputy Vice-Chancellor of the Tswane University of Technology the DVC behind and above all DVCs, Mrs. Danisa Noel Maluleke, and our three children, Changanani, Masana, Shikluke, and Sizwe. Can I ask them to stand? There's the Deputy Vice Chancellor of the University. If anyone thinks it's hard to raise children, ask my family how hard it is to raise a vice chancellor. <laughs> they have tolerated all my eccentrics, my academic excesses, including my insistence on taking a bag full of books every time we go on holiday. A few of my siblings are here such as Mrs. Venemina Ramanugu Maluleke, Mr. Josias Maluleke, Mrs. Susan Matewula, Mr. Walter Maluleke, and Lucky Maluleke, and many others whom I will not mention by name. All my big and small mothers who took turns to bring me up after the death of my biological mother are also here. Manda Heni, Noria Maluleke, Manishindalani, Rosi Maluleke, Kokwan Daina Hazel Halata, Mani Macy Maluleke, Manim Saven Maluleke. The only one missing is Man Sophie Sorisa Maluleke because she is not feeling well. Indeed, the entire Maluleke clan from the north and from the east has descended upon TUT tonight. It is impossible to acknowledge them one by one. Everyone who matters in both my family life and my work life is represented inside this hall right now. Members of the media, esteemed colleagues, members of TUT Council, friends, family, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my singular honor to accept this huge but welcome responsibility of becoming the Vice Chancellor and Principal of the Tswane University of Technology. To mark my investiture as Vice Chancellor, members of the Maluleke clan, including the Maluleke pensioners, donated money and bought me the suit, the shirt, the tie, the socks, and the shoes which I am wearing today. How beautiful is that? <laughs> to think that I could so easily have missed out on this beautiful occasion, an occasion which is reserved for the tiniest minority of those academics who are either foolish or brave or both to take on a job of vice chancellor and principal at a time like this, in a country like this. Quite honestly, I was almost giving up on the dream, 
thanks to the antiques and the shenanigans of antagonists, naysayers, and Boku de, de, de Fosami, who seemed to emerge out of the woods each time I dared to raise my hand. Hey, Bakololo Bomshatoni. Very well, if you know, now I'm Bandeveza Mapango. And it seems to me that the men upstairs had other ideas. As the maverick academic, Michael Gladwell has noted in his best-selling David and Goliath, there comes a time when the sword and the armor of the mighty are no match for the sling and the stone of those who are determined to serve. And so, here I stand today, mellowed and chastened, but still madly in love with my first love, knowledge and knowledge creation. Here I am today, still madly in love with the sanctuary of the library. I am still in awe of the allegory of the laboratory, the telepathy in the telescope, I am still smitten with the serendipity of blue sky research and problem solving research. And yes, Madam Chancellor, I am profoundly honored to take on this mantle of the largest contact university in South Africa and one of the leading universities of technology in the whole of Africa. Though I have traveled halfway around the world, academic conferencing, and delivering more than a hundred keynote addresses in universities big and small, there is no place in the world I would rather be, and there is no university in the world I would rather serve than the Tswane University of Technology. And yes, Madam Chancellor, though I have worked in five South African universities so far, serving three of them in every executive management role imaginable, working in tiny library cubicles, pacing in large lecture halls, up to the corner office on the top floor, and down to the basement where the packers pack, the editors edit, and the printers print. And yet, were my life to be paused, rewound, and replayed, were I to be offered a second chance, I would still choose to serve this 18-year-old institution born of an arranged marriage between two historically black universities or technicons, that is Technicon Northern Gauteng and Technicon Northwest, and one historically white institution, Technicon Pretoria. This is where I would like to serve. The birth of this institution that is hosting us today and welcoming me into, into its bosom. I, the birth of this institution goes back to bullet point number four of section 3.3 .3 of Government Gazette number 23549, volume 444 of 21 June 2002. The contents of the bullet are as simple as they were truncated. The section reads, the three technicons in the Tswane Metropole, namely Technicon Northern Gauteng, Technicon Northwest, and Technicon Pretoria, should be merged. End of quote. But we must not be misled either by the simplicity of the sentence or the false subjunctive mood hinted in the phrase should be merged. This was not a wish, it was an imperative, an imperative which was necessarily controversial and duly contested. Consider, for example, the stinging backhanded remark 
of Professor Peter Vail in the introduction of his co-audited uh, essays titled Intellectual Tra Traditions in South Africa. It was as if in the midst of justifying the validity of his South African intellectual traditions thesis, old Peter Vail, who is a good friend of mine, was hit by a bolt of lightning with a palpable sense of horror that his own project might have been unwittingly spun off the Kada Asmal project of measures. And he poses this Peter Vail, a pithy, backhanded remark that is at once a rhetorical question and a devastating critique of measures. This is how he put it, and I quote him. What if this entendre was born of the major mania, which after sweeping through the business world has vi had virally attacked academia with a devastating impact on ideas, on imagination, and on institutions. End of quote. Mergermania, he calls it. Eighteen years later, the measures which were outlined in Section 3 of Government Gazette, number 23549, volume 444 of 21 June 2002, were effected. I think today we are in a better position to assess and to pass verdicts on the effects of those measures now with the benefit of hindsight. Indeed, at TUT we need not say a word. We can let our actions and our track record speak for us. Like a phoenix born of three separate institutions, TUT has turned into a game-changing catalyst in the lives of more than 100,000 graduates and in the higher education sector ever since. We are more than 60,000 students strong. Two of our campuses stand smack in the middle of townships, making higher education both visible and tangible in the very spaces and among the very people whom Hendrik Fervud had deemed incapable of higher learning. We have a campus, ladies and gentlemen, that sits on top of a coal mine in Emalatene. We have a campus that is perched upon a hill at Mbombela, in the midst of Pulukwane town, we have turned a government garage into a tiny, neat, clean and cool campus. TUT campuses stand like beacons of hope inside and outside the capital city. Aristotle, who was one of the most controversial philosophers who ever lived, Controversial because he is sometimes, and I think rightfully so, regarded as the father of scientific racism. But in one of the more useful sections of his book on politics, book two, chapter two, he poses a rhetorical question that is worth our pause when he asks or when he says, it is not clear whether people should be trained in what is useful for life, in what conduces to virtue, or in something out of the ordinary." End of quote. At TUT, I want to suggest to you, we do all three of those missions implied in the quotation of Aristotle above. All three missions that is training people in what is useful for life, training people in what conduces to virtue, and training people in something out of the ordinary is precisely what the Tswane University of Technology is all about. 
We educate the head, the heart, and the hands. In the process, we produce artisans, technicians, technologists, economists, accountants, auditors, administrators, architects, computer programmers, computer scientists, journalists, science teachers, artists, engineers, and top-rate humanities scholars. We also train students in what conduces to virtue. For we impart skills which also build the character and cultivate TUT values in our students, those values being the value of integrity, diversity, inclusion, equity, compassion, excellence, and accountability. And boy, don't we train our students in what Aristotle describes as something that is extraordinary. Consider the amazing work that TUT staff members are doing in our 18 centers, institutes, centers and institutes, technology stations and incubators. Our students are making tools and car parts. They make sophisticated uh, wheelchairs and other technological in in interventions for assisted living. They have made and are still perfecting, perfecting an award-winning electric car. And while at it, the TUT student shows up on the institutional and sporting arena. I'm thinking here of the Stephen Mokokas of this world, the Casta Semenyas of this world, the Refilwe Janas of this world, and the Dumisani Chaukes of this world. And that is not all. If TUT were to withdraw its graduates from the newsrooms of media houses in this country, many such houses would soon be liquidated. And SANEF might take the unprecedented action of marching to the gates of TUT, probably holding placards, Maluleke must fall. In my short life in the Glorious Academy, I have read, I have met, and I've engaged colleagues of various orientations and inclinations. From academic troubadours who commute between theories to Marxists who have never seriously read Marx, pre-colonials and post-colonials, feminists and Methodists. I'm not referring to you, Professor Musala. I have met them all, the smart, the witty, the quick, and the dead. My sense, Madam Chancellor, Honorable Chair of Council, is that at TUT, I am about to meet a different breed of knowledge workers. I am about to meet at TUT the scholar who is a cross between Antonio Gramsci's organic intellectual and Tupac Shakur's rose that grew from concrete. My intuition is that at TUT, I will find a knowledge worker who will neither fit neatly nor slot snugly into any of the 13 intellectual traditions canvassed by Professor Peter Weil and his colleagues in the book I referred to earlier. Madam Chancellor, Chair of Council, I know this because TUT is swarming with a thousand knowledge workers, all of them adept at keeping the necessary creative tension between praxis in theory and theory in praxis. The TUT knowledge worker is she who trains students into loving knowledge. She who trains them into producing knowledge that works from first year to first job. I don't care that the TUT lecturer is often misunderstood, misnamed and misspoken. I don't take seriously the ignorance of some about their role and the value of universities of technology. My hunch is that the TUT knowledge worker is one of the real and the main reasons the graduate unemployment rate stands at 7% with 
while the national unemployment rate moves steadily towards 50%. Granted, 7% unemployment rate is still high, but relative to the national one, it is nothing to be scoffed at. Indeed, it is my conviction that were it to be calculated using just and equitable metrics beyond the usual bean counting to which we have become accustomed, the actual and substantive contribution of this 18-year-old University of Technology as well as the other universities of technology would amaze some skeptics and confound a few bureaucrats. Having spoken at length about the TUT staff, the academics, the truth of the matter is that all TUT staff, academic and non-academic, constitute a single unbroken garment. As I've said to my executive team at our, team at our recent uh, strategic uh, planning session, to stay a university that deserves its name, TUT must look, feel, and behave like a university. This can only happen with all hands on deck. Every worker, from the security guard to the professor, from the cleaner to the associate professor, all hands on deck. And yes, though I have guest lectured in several dozen universities and seminaries across the African continent, and all over the world. And though I have supervised a bevy of postgraduate students nationally and globally, it is the TUT student who fascinates me and who occupies my mind. It is the TUT student who keeps me awake at night. Many of TUT students were supposed to go no further than metric, if at all. Many of them were supposed to stay locked up in villages where there are no opportunities. Many of the TUT students were supposed to swell the ranks of the so-called NEETS, N-E-E-T-S. But each one of them said, hell no, I am not going to go down that route. I am going to TUT. Here's the thing. By the time the TUT student rocks up at our gates, coming as she does from rural village at Kwamtawialinga, from Lusikisi, from Kadzingizingi, from Kwabulawayo, from Lusaka, from Madombija, and from Maputo. By the time this student rocks up at our reception desk, that student has already proved her mettle. That student has already overcome great social and economic odds. As I move towards my conclusion, let me reiterate some of the things I've been saying to my executive team. The national vision for universities of technology is sound and foresighted. The TUT strategy is also sound and forward-looking. Anchored as it is around the incubation of graduates who will shape the future of work. Anchored as it is around the production of impactful research and problem-solving innovation. By every available metric and benchmark, TUT is a good university. But being a good university of technology is no longer good enough. Good is good insofar as it is better than bad. But if you'll pardon the pun, that is not good enough. To this end, I invite all the students of TUT, all the workers, academic and non-academic, to join hands and bid farewell to merely being good. Now is the time to use the good foundations we have to build a university that oozes and performs greatness. 
The road to greatness begins when TUT chooses to become that university of technology which only TUT can be. That university of technology which only TUT can be in South Africa and in the world. The journey from good to great begins now. And it begins with TUT ditching the tendency to see itself as a university of last resort and begin to compete successfully for the best students in the land, for ICT, for engineering, for science, for arts, for humanities. We must compete for the best students available and not be content with being a university of last resort, as I have had some of my colleagues saying to me shamelessly. We must infuse into our enrollment planning an element of quality, but not regarding ourselves as a university of last resort also means that once the students are inside the TUT system, they must complete and do so as close to record time as possible. A good success rate is no longer good enough. We need to work towards an excellent and amazing graduation rate. They must come in and get out. And if they stay, they must register for higher degrees and not parallel register and wish to stay with us forever and ever. Amen. We have to eliminate the contradiction between the perception of TUT as a university of last resort and our ambition to become a hub of artificial intelligence, the internet of things, and readiness for the future of work. This contradiction between the perception that we are a university of last resort and this lofty ambition that we have is a contradiction that we dare not sustain. The journey from good to great begins now. It begins now as we put together a strategy that will see the number of TUT staff members with PhDs rising, not only to the national average, because right now we are below the national average, but also rising above the national average. On the way to greatness, we have to increase the low numbers of women and native South Africans with PhDs, and we have to change the face of the professoriate in those regards as well. The journey from good to great begins now as we finalize a solid plan that will stop our annual per capita research outputs from behaving like the South African weather which is now affected by climate change. One year up, one year down. One day up, one day down. We can't continue like that. At the moment, there are far too many TUT academics who are not research active. I fear that they may actually be in the majority. We are at work to change this. The journey from good to great Start now as we are in the midst of tightening up our levers, our policies, and our structures of governance, and beginning to promote ethical conduct. We are on our way to greatness when our infrastructure projects start clean, on time, and they are done well first time, each time, and finished on time. We are on our way to greatness when TUT campuses become free of gender-based violence so that staff, students, women, and members of the LGBTI plus communities can walk freely, work freely, and think freely. The journey from good to great begins now as the student affairs environment is putting the final touches to a strategy that will help us manage suicidal and risky behavior among our students. Quite literally, our students must stop dying early 
and dying needlessly and dying easy, sometimes through violence between and among themselves. We are on our way to greatness when our websites and news about us are saturated with the innovation and research matters, especially to do with our thought leadership in research about the future of work. The journey from good to great begins now as we make our campuses look, feel, and behave like they belong to a great university of technology from the gate up to the lecture hall, from the basement up to the top floor. Yes, our journey starts now with the EMC's pledge, that is the Executive Management uh, Committee's pledge, to give at least 500,000 in research funding for the first TUT NRF A rated researcher. I'm waiting for that researcher. I've put the money aside and I may up um, the price uh, if it will entice anyone to get A rated. That's where I and my executive team will be taking TUT. That's where I'm going with this. In the lyrics of Jonathan Butler's hot, uh, hit song, based on the original by the Staple Sisters, if you are ready, come go with me. But no, we will not wait for everyone to be ready. We will help them to get ready, if we must. We are already on our way from good to great. Nothing and no one will stop us. To paraphrase Martin Luther King Jr.'s words while addressing, addressing students at Spelman College in 1960, my final message to TUT students and staff is that we have no choice but to raise the bar. And I paraphrase Martin Luther King's words in this manner. When we can't fly from good to great, then we will ride, we will run. If we can't run, then we will walk. If we can't walk, then we will crawl. But whatever we do, we at TUT must and will keep moving from good to great. Thank you, Madam <laughs> Chancellor. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to say that's our Vice Chancellor and Principal, Professor Tiniko Maluleke. I Kalikase Mikulungwana. Ladies and gentlemen, you, you may be seated. Thank you. And now we're going to be blessed with an item, a vocal entertainment item, performed by Stephen Tombeni. Uh, he's a TUT Department of Performing Arts alumni here at the Tswane University of Technology, Faculty of Arts and Design. We do produce a eh? future ready graduates prof. Yeah. Over to you, Stephen.
Non più vrai questi bei pennacini, quel capello leggero galante, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante, quel vermiglio donesco color, quel vermiglio donesco color. Non più vrai quei pennacini, quel capello. Quella chioma, quell'aria brillante. Non potrai far valore amoroso, notte e giorno ogni torno girando, delle belle trovando riposo, l'arcisetto buono cino d'amor. Delle belle trovando riposo, Narcisetto arancino d'amor Tra cui il re può far poco Gran mustacchi stretto sacco Sciopo spolla Con la dritta Muso franco Un gran parte Un gran turbarde Un gran turbarde Molto onor, poco contante, poco contante, poco contante. Ed invece del fandango, una marcia per il fango, per montagne, per valloni, con le nevi e gli soli a quel certo di trombone. Quei pennacini non piovrai, quel peppello non piovrai, quella chioma non piovrai, quell'aria brillante. Non potrai far falorni amoroso, notte e giorno in intorno girando, delle belle. Trovando riposo, narcisetto arancino d'amor. Delle belle trovando riposo, narcisetto arancino d'amor. Che robino la vittoria, alla gloria militare. Che robino la vittoria. Alla gloria militar, alla gloria militar, alla gloria militar. Thank you, thank you so much. Round of applause once again. That is, that is Stephen Mtombeni, on, and on piano is uh, uh, Dr. Rostilava Bashkevich. We have talent here at the Tswane University of Technology. Now we're getting closer to the end of the first part of the program, and I'd like to call upon um, Dr. Gwen Ramukhopa once again to the podium. Chairperson of Council and uh, Vice-Chancellor of Council, I think I would have deserved my dinner. It has really, really been inspiring, and so TUT rises to greatness. Thank you for the very inspiring message where, which outlines your vision of where you're taking this uh, university. And you can be assured of our support, whether we're still here or not. Because indeed, who would have thought that uh, a child born 
in the dusty streets of Midlands, Zone 8, would be at the helm of this august institution. It is through hard work, resilience, tenacity, uh, that we have produced as a country a scholar par excellence and a visionary leader, someone who we know even talks truth, truth to power uh, because uh, he is also a very spiritual person, our one and on, only Professor Tinyuko Seme Maluleke the Vice-Chancellor and Principal of TUT. Let's give him another round of applause. I think we should also give uh, the artists who were here earlier and the young men here uh, a round of applause. Quite talent to be nurtured. I'm going to ask that uh, all present should at this moment rise for the singing of the national anthem and remain standing until the chancellor has dissolved the congregation and the procession has left the hall. gentlemen, we have now concluded the inauguration of Professor Tinyuko Sem Maluleke, and as the choir disperses, we want to thank you for the attention and thank all those that have made this event a success and pray that God bless our Vice-Chancellor and Principal, Professor Tinyoko Semmelulek. 
Under the powers vested in me, I hereby dissolve the congregation of the Tswani University of Technology. I thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You may be seated. The academic procession will be taking photographs outside. Um, but while they're doing that, please enjoy the starters and drinks that will be served shortly. Thank you. Oh. 